Michael Stabile was born on March 28, 2006 in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. He loved Boy Scouts, skateboarding, snowboarding, really anything outdoors. His parents think he opened Snapchat around 12 or 13, but it was without parental consent. They knew very little about Snapchat. In fact, they didn't even know Snapchat could be used to send messages until after his death. They thought it was just a goofy kids app to send disappearing photos to friends. Fast forward to May 2021 when Michael was 15. He got a job at Pokey Works, a restaurant in Coeur d'Alene near his school, and he'd recently been promoted. He was doing really well in school. It was around this time that Michael was contacted through Snapchat by a drug dealer named Matthew Holmberg. They didn't know each other in real life. Michael had never used drugs, but when presented with a drug menu on Snapchat, he became curious. Michael and his friend decided they wanted to know what a Percocet was like, so he responded to the Snapchat dealer and ordered four pills, two for him and two for his friend. Using Snapchat's location feature called SnapMap, the Snapchat dealer delivered the pills to Michael's front door. And on May 10th, 2021, Michael took the pills he obtained through Snapchat. The pills were laced with lethal doses of fentanyl, and his family found him shortly thereafter, but it was too late. This drug dealer, Matthew Holmberg, has been sentenced to 19 years in federal prison for conspiracy to distribute a controlled substance and discharge of a firearm related to a different drug trafficking crime in which another teenager was killed. This crime happened 21 days after he killed Michael Stabile. DEA agents are sharing that they've never seen anything as potent and as dangerous as these fake pills that contain fentanyl. It's 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. These kids don't even have a chance. They're trying to experiment. They made a mistake. Kids should learn from their mistakes, not die from them. That's why we need to inform our kids about this. They cannot take a pill that hasn't been prescribed to them by their doctor. Join me in sending love and support to the family of Michael Stabile.